Hi everyone! I was so excited to see my new box of goodies on the front porch when I pulled up after getting home today that I thought I would open it up and show you what I got and I'll go through it with you and it's um oh here's the first thing I'm just gonna kind of do it as is this is a new bundle and it has this really adorable cat punch and cat stamp set little face you can add and all kinds of fun Halloween um, goodness right there. There's a paper pack somewhere in my box. Ah. Maybe we'll come back to that. Okay, there is another set. I'm going to do fall first. It looks like all the fall is at the top. I thought this was really pretty. It's called Count My Blessings. When I count my blessings, you are at the top of my list. But I love the way these images are drawn. So pretty. And I'm going to use this for fall. I even have color schemes in my head for this stamp set. When I saw it, I had to have it. Beautiful stamp set for fall. Mm, here's a Christmas one that I had to have, although it has some Halloween too. I bake every Christmas. I do big cookie trays and all kinds of cookie stuff, and this is really cute for that. I know I'm going to use this on a tag. Made extra. This is a really great um, giftable Christmas set, and that's what I'm going to use it for. It's called The Little Things. I forgot to show that to you. Super cute. Okay, here is another one I had to have right away. Hug in a mug. Wonderful. I am a coffee drinker, but also hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is awesome. So we've got whipped cream, all kinds of different shaped mugs. It's really whimsically drawn, really cute little chocolate kisses, marshmallows, super fun stamp set. I had to have that. Hug in a mug. Look forward to this one. All right, what else do we have? Oh, Halloween one. Oh, this has dyes. Let me find them. Oh my goodness, there's so many fun dies. I don't want to have you wait for... Okay, patterned pumpkins, and I really want to show you the dies. So you can see the stamp set. And it's pretty a basic pumpkin set, but the dies really make it amazing. So let me show you the dies. Okay, so you've got plain pumpkins to, and gourd, the gourd. Plain dies that cut those out. But there's a detailed pumpkin that has little... Um, stars cut out so you can have like a glowing jack-o-lantern and this pumpkin just makes the outline it's only the outline so think of that as a nice layering piece these fun little whimsical pumpkin vines and leaves so it's really really a cute set and when you see the catalog um, you will see how they used this layering pumpkin and these little vines is beautiful and I can't show you the inside of the catalog because it's against the no-nos but if you're coming to stamp camp this month I will be handing them out so this is a really fun fall set. Right, what else do I have? Oh, here. Okay, this is a suite of things that you're going to just think is awesome. Here's another thing from it. Let's see. Where are my dies for this? One? Okay, I'm going to open the dies. So here's a quilt builder set. Look at the fun images with that. If you're a quilter or if you just like cozy quilts in general, whether you make them or not, this is fun. So, there are little dies that cut out these as well. Let me show you those. So that is a cutout for the main image. Look at that, a quilt block. But then there's also these. I know it's two-sided, look at that. You got some little pieces of holly too. Look at this set. Oh, and the stitching dies add stitches around your pieces so you can Use different color pattern paper, different um, patterns, and then you can add these little stitch textures so it looks like it really was sewn onto the paper. So fun. And then if you wanted to run a folder on top of it to give a quilted impression, and you can put the whole pattern through, this will add like a quilt top sewn pattern, which is super fun. And I want to find one more thing that goes with this sweet. Oh, the paper. Okay, it's a six by six paper pack. Let's check this out. So you've got that pattern, but look at all these wonderful quilt patterns. Oh, I like that one. That's cool. And you can cut these out in squares um, or just use them as backgrounds. These fit the dies. So that's fun. These fit the dies. This is, oh, that's such a cute pattern all by its little self though, isn't it? This is a wonderful paper, whether you use it for quilting or not. That is an awesome paper stack, don't you think? Look at that. Oh, and all that beautiful red and green. Love it. 
So that is called Quilted Christmas. Christmas Quilts Stamp Set. Quilt Builder Framelits. There's a bundle for the Framelits and Stamp Set, of course. And then there's Quilt Top Folder. So that's a whole collection that goes together. So cute. You know, there were some little stitch shapes, too. Ooh, those aren't in the right order, but beautiful foil snowflakes, kind of like a doily accent, but there's silver and gold in here. Beautiful foil snowflakes. Okay, what else can I show you? Oh, here's the little things I was looking for. Little stitch shapes. Holly, still these are bigger than I thought they'd be. They're real cute. And this little tree. Really fun. That would go with the uh, quilt collection. You can use that on anything. That's beautiful. All right, what else? Oh, here's another Halloween. Okay, another coffee set. And this goes with our current coffee dies that are in the current catalog. So you've got this coffee cup and a little coffee cup, and they all can get cut out. But look at this. Witch's Brew. Hello Fall for like a pumpkin spice, apple cider. I can see cider pack treat holders and things made with this. Really fun. Had to have that. Okay. Ooh, this is a really pretty one. Let me find the die for this one. Okay, this is beautiful. Okay, looks basic. You've got great greetings for the outside of your card, but also the inside and the two from, which is always handy. But check out these dies. Again, the dies this year are what's making a lot of these even more amazing. Okay. The detail, look at that. The detail on this die is just amazing, and the samples in the catalog are really pretty. This is beautiful, and you can use it with or without the little cutout here. And I love this swirl. Just adds that little whimsy to it, and you can use that as a great layering piece behind things. And I'm going to use it with the coffee, too, because it looks like a steam coming off your hot cocoa or your coffee. And a cute little tag. Totally awesome. Love this die set. Okay, let's put that aside. Man, I'm going to have a lot of organizing to do. Oh, and a new snowflake embossing folder. Love that. Okay, I'm a bird person, so Cheery Chirps made it into my box. Love these birds, and I love watercolor. This is going to be watercolored. I'm going to do that for my mother, who is also a bird freak. <laughs> Beautiful stamp set. Oh, Smitten Mittens. I'm going to learn how to knit this year. It's my goal, so I love the knit mittens. Oh, things are falling. Can you hear it? I love the mittens, and of course, there's a die. Let me find it many mittens. Ah. We're getting a sneak peek of the holiday catalog. Look at these dies. So you've got the cutouts for the images, but then you've also got this texture plate and these other texture plates that you can use to make patterns on your mittens. How cool is that? You put bumps on the bottoms of your mittens and a snowflake and it's really fun. The samples in the catalog are great. Okay, this is beautiful. Painted Harvest with a paper punch. I love punches. And this is a nice watercolor look. Sunflower. Beautiful. I really like it. And I've seen some samples with this already. Check Pinterest for that. It's called Painted Harvest and it's lovely. And that is swirling around in my head with ideas already too. I have to show you the paper. It's beautiful. Probably at the bottom of my box. Yep, there it is. The paper is hand painted paper, which I love because I paint. It's not as good as this, but I paint. <laughs> and it's such a pretty paper pack. So I want to show it to you. I've got these swirls of leaves, which are lovely. And on the back, I painted like a watercolor background. And then you've got a big pattern on the front, and again, a small pattern on the back. Pumpkins are cute. You can cut those out. And look at that nice background. I love this. I'll show you a better picture of this background. That's a, a lovely um, background paper. Oh, and acorns. And then a nice basic background that you can use. Pretty yellows and oranges. And look at that leaf. So pretty. Oh, and that's beautiful. Look at that. Sunflowers, again, you can cut these out or use them as a background. Look at that. Anyway, great paper. Here's that cat paper I was telling you about. It's Halloween paper. One of them is cats, <laughs> so you can use it with your paper punch. But the rest are not. So you've got the cat paper and pumpkins and nice backgrounds. Let me open it a little further. 
of witches' hats. And this one is a really fun. There's an owl stamp in the. Let's see if it's close enough. Yeah, owl stamp that you can put on the branch in front of the moonlight. This is a really fun Halloween paper stack. Man, there's so much in here. Ooh, mini pizza boxes. These are fun. I had to get those. What's this? Oh, these are clear boxes that you can use to put Christmas cards like in a little gift box. Like if you make Christmas cards, which of course we do, right? You can put several of them inside this little acetate box and put a pretty ribbon around it or thank you cards to give to a teacher at teacher appreciation. This is a little box. It looks like I you bought them, really. Professional card giving box. Really nice. Okay, my little daughter is a ballerina. So I had to get this Nutcracker inspired sugar plum dream set with this little ballerina and a Nutcracker. She's in a little Nutcracker every year with her ballet company. She's only eight, so she was a mouse actually last year. <laughs> so really fun and I had to get this because I know I can use that on scrap of pages or for her teacher. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is new ribbon and it's it's um, red and green, white kind of stitching, which is meant to go with that quilt collection, but you can use that on every Christmas thing. Oh, this is black lace, black lace ribbon and new washi tape, copper, silver, and gold, and then a mixture of copper, silver, and gold elements, and then this pretty design, and there's paper for that. The whole collection of metallics, this is beautiful. Snowflakes in gold and silver metallics. It's not double-sided because every sheet has foil, so they don't want it double-sided. So you get three of those snowflakes. Look at this beautiful gold gingham. Ooh, that is lovely. This is copper, and they're calling this champagne. Beautiful. And this. Just lovely paper. Just beautiful, beautiful paper. This one, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this. It's mostly black and white, and the paper is thinner. You get a lot more. I think there's 24 sheets. Mary Music 24 sheets instead of 12 because it's thinner, and it's a lot of black and white, which is great for layering. But also, I don't know if you've thought about black and white in a different way before, but you can sponge it or add color. So you can have green and white and red and white, or red and black, I mean. Or black. <laughs> so you can add you know, blue on top of black and get blue snowflakes. Just think of what you can do with the black and white. The words could be a different color if you sponged on top. Anyway, this is fun paper. Here's a little sneak peek. I can show you the cover. The cover there's the bird. The cover there's the mittens. Uh, I didn't get this set yet. It's coming, I'm sure. Oh, I love this. This are black rhinestones. Now, I know that they're meant to be for Halloween, but I'm thinking of making snowmen. And these could be like little coal eyes or a little mouth. So I bought these. These are for me. These are snowmen parts, but they're in the Halloween section because they could be raven eyes too, or you know, just like some kind of black accents on a pretty um, Halloween card. Had to have those. Some more of those snowflakes. Getting close to the bottom of my box. Trim your stocking. Okay, this not on the cover, so I can't show you a picture, but it's um, a stocking die. But I want to show you the dies because they showed a picture in the catalog where you can use this pillow lines up with the stocking so that you can actually the stocking becomes like a gift you can put like a gift card inside look at the pretty dies on that the snowflake berry bow um, holly tag heart maybe some mistletoe look at that jingle bell this is a great die set even without the uh, stamps but I did in fact get the stamps of course I did. So it looks like this. So you can stay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm back together. Everything was falling. I've got stuff sliding off my desk. It's so full. Okay, I wanted to show you these dies. These are I'm really excited about. It's a little village and there's a stamp set to go with it. I think I'm going to use the dies most of all. I'm imagining these little villages cut out and layered with some space in between so you can have them you know kind of up on a hill and back and forth have some um, depth and then maybe um a tea light or something behind it a little candle holder i don't know and um 
you can see light coming between the little windows or something like that. This is my vision for this one, and it'll be beautiful on cards too, I'm sure. So this is a really fun one. You can put Santa up in the sky if you wanted to add a Santa to the scene or not. It's really, really pretty. I love this. It's called Hearts Come Home, and I just love that. Again, get the bundle because then you save. And I had, let's see, is that it? Oh, this is a stamp set that goes with the foil sheets. And this can be used all year round. I love this little swirl. Great accent piece and this great accent piece. But this is a great um, Mr. and Ms. And it's really pretty because um, you can use these little accent pieces just on anything all year long. It's really pretty. And then I want to show you one that's actually out already because this is a sneak peek. But it is from the new, oh, here's the little village layered on a card. How cute. The um, Carols of Christmas. This is an early release, so everybody can get this, and it is fun. The one I like the, well, actually I like a lot. I love the trees. And I've cut some of these out and layered them on a few cards that I have to post. And I love this little deer. Cute. But this, this is a card front builder, they're calling it. And you make a frame, and you may cut it out again. There's little holes to help you line up, so you can line up a really nice framed piece for a card front. I think I might have something on my desk I played with before I went on vacation. Nope, I don't, it's probably buried. <laughs> anyway, it's a really fun set. You can get this right away. And actually, as you can tell by the fact that I'm showing you these things right now, demonstrators are able to pre-order this stuff now. So if you wanted to become a demonstrator, what you could do is join <laughs> because you can choose $125 worth of items and you only pay $99. There's tax on that, but no shipping. And you can choose items from the new catalog. And then once you become a demonstrator, you could then continue that fund savings because you get a discount. And that discount can change based on your sales and how you want to do your business. And you can do it any way you want because you can decide that you want to take this to another level and become a business demonstrator or just keep it the way you like it, fun and shopping and get a discount on all your fun Stampin' Up! products. And then you'll get like 20% and then over time 25. Um, I usually am in the 30s somewhere, so it just depends on how you want to do it. And this is an awesome catalog. If you want to join, this is a good time to do it. So there's that. I think I've showed everything. I have, you know, I had to pace myself. There's so much in here. Like I didn't get this and I, I want it desperately. So, um, you know, I've had to pace myself. I got like half the stuff I wanted now and then at my next, um, make some money at my next damn camp and buy the rest of the other half. <laughs> but uh, this is something you can get now. It's called Carols of Christmas and it's a bundle. And check out my blog, batspapercuts.com and you will find this as the August special. You can get that now or you can get all of this now if you want to join. And there's no pressure. You can decide to, to stay as long as you want. Uh, I think I've shown everything. And this is a long enough video. So thank you so much for watching. And check back again because I'll show you part two of my catalog Christmas catalog haul when I get it <laughs> after stamp camp and um, hopefully in the next coming days and weeks and months you'll be seeing projects made with these beautiful I have to tell you I love that bird are you a bird person I'm a bird person and I love that is so pretty and, and there's that embossing folder so it's just chock full of wonderful things I hope you like it if you're a customer of mine you'll be getting it at stamp camp and if you've ordered for me in the last year you'll also be getting it I've already ordered them to go out to the mail so if you're not and you haven't gotten it, contact me and you can get one. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're excited about the new catalog. Bye-bye.